Today our story is about American colonists fed up with taxes. The colonists have been being taxed on pretty much all goods and have been beginning to boycott and have been violently attacking British tax collectors. Here is Elizabeth, the first side of the story. I am fed up with taxes. Someone needs to do something. Other colonists feel that way too. We interviewed the most important person in Britain, King George III. Good day, women. Hello. Our first discussion is about the colonists. How could you tax the poor colonists? What did they ever do to you? Well, you see, my country was in severe debt. How else was I supposed to repay money? Hello, not tax the innocent colonists. First, you forced them to fight. Now this. What kind of king are you? Look, it's hard to be perfect. The colonists are just scum anyways. I used to be an American colonist. That is offensive. Taxing was the dumbest idea ever. I didn't use the money, but I did boycott and attack who bestowed a tax grant. It was Mr. Horrible. Excuse me. The Stamp Act was the right thing to do. Well, I disagree. You should have paid the debt yourself. No. Why are you even a king? I am the best king you have ever had. Well, guys, please. King George, Britain fought a long, hard battle. And for you, Elizabeth, I know that some of the stuff wasn't fair, like the Stamp Act. But Britain did win the French and Indian War, didn't they? Yes, but that didn't help me. We didn't need land. I had faith that you would treat us as equals after the war. We didn't want you to, gr to gain independence. stupid game. The Sons of Liberty that tarred and feathered my officials and vandalized our property. Because of you, five colonists were killed the night of the British massacre on March 5th, 1770. That was Samuel Adams' foolish plan. Guys, enough. No. No. What is no taxation without, representation, without representation, representation mean anyway? It means don't tax us when there's no one to speak for us. You're the king. Aren't you supposed to know what it means? How should I know that, that if the, the colonists made it up? He has a point there. <clears throat> Why do you care if you leave the Ohio River Valley anyway? My region needs to be the greatest. <clears throat> Adding more lands help. Wow. Only a selfish person would think about their region. What about the French? I'm pretty positive my people are more important than the French. I bet you think the same about American colonists also, don't you? Wow, it's a letter from the British General. The Americans are, in general, the dirtiest, contemptible, most cowardly dogs you can meet to. Signed by a British general. Wow, that was a beat. Why would they say that about the Americans? I mean, look at them. Should have put on deodorant. We are the best people around. There is a selfishness again. I am not selfish. I am just sticking up for my people. That's called selfishness. Okay. Okay. So was the Ohio River Valley so important you had to go to war? Yes. Like I said, my region is the best. And with the Ohio River Valley, it would, make, it would be even better. Oh, wow. Here we go again. I am going to start asking Elizabeth questions now. Good. I'm tired of that old man talking anyway. Why did you refuse to not pay taxes on goods? Well, for one, I don't think it's right for someone to make us pay taxes like I said before. And for two, I don't want to pay extra for something that's supposed to entertain me. Even if it was for the war? No, because I think it is stupid to go to war over land, especially if you are going to death because of it. That's a really good point. This was such a heated conversation, but we're out of time. See you next time on The News.